Hello, in continuation with, with respect to the role of mixture, in the previous session what we had discussed with respect to the norm, uh, normal Young's modulus. Now, uh, or the longitudinal Young's modulus we had discussed. Now, what we are discussing is with respect to the transverse Young's modulus, consider a composite material with a single fiber subjected to a tensile load P in a transverse direction which is nothing but perpendicular to the direction of the fiber orientation. The schematic diagram shows the two layers of the matrix in between one fiber layer where the th total thickness is nothing but the TC. The individual thickness is of the matrix is TM by 2 and as well as the TM by 2 and TF is the thickness of the fiber and P is a load which is acting on the composite. Let TC, TF and TM be the thickness of the composite, thickness of the fiber and the thickness of the matrix respectively. In case of the transverse loading, the stress acting along the cross section of the fiber of the matrix sigma F is equal to sigma M. For that reason, sigma C is equal to sigma F is equal to sigma M. This condition is also known as isostress condition. The transverse extension of the composite is some of the transverse extension of the fiber and the matrix where del C is equal to del F plus del M. Nothing but the strain is equal to change in dimension to the original dimension. Change in dimension is equal to epsilon into the original dimension. The change in dimension with respect to the composite is equal to epsilon C T C and same way the change in dimension with respect to the fiber is equal to epsilon F T F and the matrix the epsilon M and as well as T M. The equation 2 can be written as epsilon C T C epsilon F T F plus epsilon M T M. With respect to the with, uh, with respect to the stress strain and as well as Young's modulus we know that stress by strain is equal to E. Uh, the strain can also be written as sigma by E. Sigma C by EC TC is equal to sigma F by EF into TF plus sigma M by EM into TM. Uh, by simplifying it, we can we can write it as TC by EC which is equal to TF by EF plus TM by EM. As we know that sigma F is equal to sigma M and is equal to sigma C. Indi uh, indirectly what we can write it as 1 by EC is equal to 1 by EF TF by TC plus 1 by EM within the bracket TM by TC. After simplification, the, ent uh, the entire thing, it can be written as 1 by EC is equal to EM VF plus EF VM by EM EF. In the same way, Young's modulus of the composite, it can be written as EF EM by EF VM plus EMVF. The rule of mixture uh, mixture for the evaluation of the Poisson's ratio. Based on the rule of mixture of the uh, constituents of a unidirectional composite material, the Poisson's ratios in, in the longitudinal transverse plane may be o obtained from the equation given below. Nu is equal to nu F VF plus nu M VM. The rule of mixture for evaluating the shear modulus. Based on the rule of mixture of the constituent of the unidirectional composite, the shear modulus G in the longitudinal transverse plane may be obtained from the equation given below, which is nothing but G is equal to GF GM by GF VM plus GM VF. Now there is another, another derivation, derived expression for the ratios of the load shared between the fiber and as well as the matrix. In a, in a unidirectional composite material when loaded in the direction along the axis of the fiber. As he has mentioned, axis of the fiber is nothing but something like a longitudinal loading only. Sigma F is equal to PF by AF. The same way PF is equal to sig Sigma F AF. Similarly, with respect to the matrix, PM is equal to Sigma M AM. The ratios of the load is shared between the between the two materials is, is here as he has asked the load sharing between the fiber and as well as a matrix we have to consider that as PF by PM. PF by PM is equal to sigma F AF by sigma M AM. As you know that 
stress is equal to strain into Young's modulus. The volume fraction Vf is equal to Af by Ac and Vm is equal to Am by Ac. Uh, after simplification, Pf by Pm is equal to epsilon F into Af, Vf into Ac by epsilon M into Em within the bracket Vm plus Ac. Under the loading in a longitudinal direction, we know that the strain it remains same or it also comes under the category of the isostrain condition. For that reason, Pf by Pm is equal to Ef Vm by Em Vm. Now there is uh, there is another derivation derivation expression for the for the fraction of the load carried carried by the fiber and as well as a matrix in the unidirectional composite material when it is loaded in the direction of the composite. Now as uh, the schematic diagram shows shows the the mat, mat two layers of the matrix in between a fiber will be there with respect to that PC is equal to PF plus PM. We know uh, the same thing it can be expressed in the form of the stress and as well as the area sigma c a c is equal to sigma f a f plus sigma m a m sigma c is equal to sigma f a f by a c plus sigma m a m by a c after simplification sigma c is equal to sigma f v f plus sigma m v m as we know that v f is equal to a f by a c and v m is equal to a m by v m and also uh, divide the equation equation by sigma f what we are obtaining is sigma c by sigma f is equal to vf plus sigma m by vm sig sorry sigma m by sigma f into vm uh, after simplification that it can be simplified as pc by ac by pf by af which is equal to vf plus sigma m by sigma y into vam the same after simplifying it what we are obtaining is pm by pc is equal to em vm by ef vf plus em vm the same way the fraction load is carried by the fiber it can be expressed as pf by pc is equal to ef vf by ef vf plus em vm thank you